Right, hello everyone. So today's Monday, 11th of September. Now I've put the Astro Hours for the day plus the Swing Hours for the week already in the members area so you can take a look. So now let's take a look at the technical side of stuff. So we're in September. Let's take a look at gold on the monthly. Here we are. All right, so it's a bit of a sandwich zone as you can see price-wise, but technically it's telling us we should be going down okay so that's fine and target all the way down there could it be let's see 1856 is one target there okay and 46 is 1807 so we could still go down technically where to sell 1941 on the price and on the PSD, so we could go up, you know, to sell off. Okay, on the daily, let's take a look at the daily chart. That's a bit too far out, but we'll keep it on the radar because it's 1961.64. It's on the daily though, so when that changes, we've got to change as well. Okay, 1961. This is 1964 there. And this is 1961 up here. We'll keep this on the radar as well. All right. But looking at it, this is the weekly. Weekly is stronger. As you can see, if the market comes up here into this zone, 41.45 zone, we'll be selling off here. Okay. Um, if you want to buy, where can you buy today in order to go up? If you want to buy in order to go up, 42 is 1915. 1915 is going to be there. All right, so in this zone there, okay, 1915, which the market's pretty much done here, as you can see. Um, but we could still pop down a little bit. So if we come down before we go up, okay, before going up, if we come down, you can go into that level. But if the market starts pushing up, we could probably go higher. And today there is a breakout aspect which should happen until 10.21. And then another one could happen from 2.20 to 3.05. Okay, and then we could have like a pushy move with the market. So be careful for New York session as well. Okay, so there you go. Um, and then with the market, if the market, you know, looks like it's going to have a good move today. And if it does have a good move today, it should carry on until the evening, my time. So until closure, basically in New York. All right. So that's definitely that. Um, so gold, if it does pull back like to the opening or down here a little bit more, uh, at an astro hour, okay to go up. I also got 10 past 7 here, which I didn't put in. I should put in 10 past 7, which we're coming into there soon. <clears throat> okay. Which, um, you know, which could like pretty much push the market till 10 past 7 because this, this plan is a bit aggressive. Okay. So what you want to do is this basically. On the sell, on the highs, we can sell off. Weekly pivot is also a place where the market can sell. So up at the weekly pivot, previous day's highs, you can sell off, okay? Just note we haven't gone lower. The market did not go lower on Friday, okay? So Wednesday, as you know, was a swing day from the lows, and we were long, remember? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we were buyers, okay? And the market did go up. Remember, I actually marked this level. If you watch the videos, I said, if the market comes into this zone, you can buy, okay? And it tapped into that zone there, okay? And that was a beautiful push up into there. But the market did not break the low of Wednesday, despite the fact that they sold off again, okay? So this sell-off is a sign that the market's got sellers as well, all right? So we're going to have to be careful, all right? And this has taken the stops out here. So... The weekly also becomes logical to sell, all right? And if it does, then the monthly breakdown of the PST will eventuate. Then this month, we could be going down into 1856.
Okay, so this zone is a bit of a sandwich, so we'll have to be careful. But that 1850 zone looks to be on the cards. Okay, let's take a look at the SP500. Okay, so on the monthly, remember we're shorting this, we want to sell off the SP500. So every time the market goes up, we're sellers. So last week, we're also sellers. So if you kept selling when the market pushed up, you should have been okay because that was what I was talking about. Here we are. Okay. Um, and this is Friday. You see all week they just sold down. So if we go back up again, which is normal and natural because the wicks met here, remember? Okay. There you go here. The wicks kind of met. I'm just going to get rid of that so we don't get confused. What we want to be doing is if we go up again, want to sell off. Um, a nice place to sell off. I'm just going to get rid of this because this is already done. Okay, so I'm deleting the slime because we already did that. So let's get rid of this. This line here, sorry. That's the one. So don't get confused. Things are nice and clean. Now, remember I said this month we could also have a double top. But in any case, whenever the market comes up, we want to sell. Okay, that's how I'm looking at things anyway. Right, so all good, and we should end up lower, and that's that. Where to sell? Let's take a look where we can sell. Whoops, we can sell. Let's take a look at the weekly first. Okay, got four five one three fifty nine sixty six four four eight six. Okay, four four eight six. Four four eight six is looking hot. All right, so if we come up into this zone, I'm okay to sell. It's right on that zone there, so that's good. All right, four four eight six. If you want to go up into that direction, it's doable. Just be careful on the weekly pivot. Okay, this zone I marked in last Friday, so the market came in. Nicely picked up there, and that was, I think it was an Astro Hour as well, like 145 or something, uh, as far as I know. Yes, should be 145 around there, and that would have been 1245. 145 was there, and we had 215, and that was 215 right there. Okay, 215. So if you traded that, you would have been fine. And what to do now? Now, if the market comes down, we can want to go back up if it retests this level. Um, and then... And then if we go up, we've got on the daily 4524. Four five two four. That's on the daily. That is way way up there. All right, but we've got levels to sell. One of them is the daily pivot, and one is that. I like this one because it's on the weekly, and weekly is definitely strong enough. If it breaks that, don't stand in front of it because then we'll head to that four thousand five hundred zone. Okay, so if it breaks the daily PST, which is this, don't muck around with it, okay, just don't muck around with it, okay, let's see, so if we come down first, we can push up, okay, and then look to sell from here, here, or up there, euro dollar, Now, this is the week, as I remember, around here, I said, we don't want to be really sellers around here because the market will want to buy around here. As you can see, it bounced off exactly on that line there on Friday. So we still have this up motion, and that's fine. We can have a bit of an up move as well, but afterwards, we should sell off, okay? Where can we sell off? It's the weekly. So 43 is 1.0750. 1.0750 is not a bad place to be selling, which is going to be up here. 
1.0750. There. All right. So selling at these levels is not a bad idea either. The weekly, that is okay. And that's the only time, basically. Um, the other place is if it breaks above that, you need to look out for this 48 level. But that's going to be a bit far out there, which is 1.0836. Okay, because if it breaks above that, we'll probably see ourselves going higher into that 1.0836. 1 1.0836. 1 there, and I'm going to get rid of that. If you take a look at this here on a smaller time frame, as you can see, this is turning out to be some kind of an accumulation. And basically, this is where everybody's getting chopped out. So trade on the edges. Okay, so you want to buy, you buy on the lows. You want to sell, you sell on the highs at the astro hours. Otherwise, you're going to be caught up in a mess and in a choppy zone where you'll probably get stopped out, so be mindful. If you're trading in a choppy zone, you still can with astrology and technical analysis. It's not a problem, but just make sure your lot sizes are smaller because choppy zones, you know, it's not the best level to be turning, okay? Uh, and that's that. So this is euro dollar. Let's take a look at where we can buy this. Um, on the daily, you can buy this on 30, 1.0692. So 1.0692. It's going to be down here somewhere. Okay, so if the market does dip down as well, you can still go long here. Okay. Um, and this is a discount level here. Previous days low, previous weeks low. Coming down, you can go back up. Okay, let's get rid of these. Um, let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ, Bitcoin. The thing with the euro dollar is I'm still expecting the market to go further down, but you don't want to be selling uh, on a demand zone. All right, so if you want to sell, you just need to let the market go up and then sell off. And if you're going to buy on a demand zone, it's normal. You, you can do that. But the more it's been tapped into, the more likely it's going to break. So if you're going to do it at this level with the euro dollar, just be mindful that there is an opportunity that the market can break down. And, um, you know, we're still expecting lower levels. Okay. So selling on an up move is like a good way to go. Also, you can see the market opened with, looks like it opened. No, it didn't open with a gap. It opened right there, I think. Or maybe it did. Okay, just check if the market opened with a gap. Because if it did, it'll want to come back and close that and then go back up if it does that. Okay, looks like it did here. Okay, you see there's a gap here on the PST. So the price would want to fill that in. So coming down is an option and then going up is an option and then selling from the highs is an option as well. Now let's take a look at Dow Jones and let's get rid of this. Here we are with the Dow Jones. Now this is nice to see because you're right on the edges there here. You've got the weekly and the daily. So this is a bit of a sandwich zone here. Let's take a look at the monthly. We're right at the top. So you really want to sell this down. Okay. So on the weekly as well, this is beautiful. If it doesn't break out, we should sell lower. Okay. Now, if it goes above, let's just open this up a little bit so you can see. This is resistance 5425, which is 34664. If it doesn't break that, that's good. We can just push down into 50, which is 34253. Okay, so selling at 5425, which is there 34664 into 253. So 34, 
664 or 654 was it there into 34 250 down here all right let me just double check those again 30 wait 54 is where are we on the weekly 54 34 664 okay 664 664 is up there okay so selling from the highs it's not a bad idea and following it down it's not a bad idea on the daily um it's still doable you see we're in that sandwich zone you see how we sold off here which is what we said the market should be doing breaks down goodbye kiss sell off again it's all good so you know continuing to sell down this is where we want to get to in fact we want to go lower than that the market should come back down here okay in fact we should be coming into the lower end of this okay so we should be actually collapsing into that level which is fine and on the weekly as you can see that level is nice and easy 34 250 okay and if it breaks below that we've got room to go as well which is what we're expecting in september as the market should from the cells just push lower nasdaq same kind of thing let's take a look at the monthly you can see what the highs want to be selling this off it's a breakdown on the pst we should be coming into the 58 which is 14762 so on the weekly where can you sell off Ooh, on the weekly you can't let's see with nasdaq we're gonna have to wait why because you can see remember i also said last week we could head up to a double top where the market should just make a high and then just start to fall off well this is a pst breakdown okay breakout sorry if this has broken out i don't want to be standing in front of it this has got room to go up okay so don't muck around with it it's got room to go up into this HCL one, which is 15407 and 15500. So let's do this 15407 and 500. Four oh seven is there. And 15,500, let's bring this down into there. All right, and get rid of that. So this is also, this mat also come out a little bit upwards. If it does, you can sell off, okay? Because we have this breakout of the PST, the 60 level is gonna be the support, 15,250. So 15,250 is going to be a support and that's also logical see how there are gaps here so 15250 is going to be down here okay so if the market comes back down here what we might see is the market pushing up again okay but you have to be careful with this nasdaq now that i'm um, looking at it because of this breakout i don't like to stand in front of a pst breakout and start selling this off okay leave this alone see how things pan out and if you're going to trade it if you if you only trade nasdaq if you're going to trade it sell off on the highs okay and don't muck around in the middle of nowhere because this has got room to push up fill in some gaps and then sell off bitcoin let's take a look on the monthly as you can see on the monthly we've got room to come down on the psd so going into 45 43 is that 23 21 thousand zone so we should be heading downwards and that's fine that's what we're expecting as you can see 
all right so the market should just sizzle down here the support is going to be that 40 level which is 25,317. if it breaks that 25,317. Okay, 317, let's say there. So if we break this, okay, we should be heading lower as well. If it goes up, I'm in, the, in favor of selling Bitcoin, as you know. So, you know, I'm in my opinion, this is going to break. You see how many times it's been tapping into it. It should break down. We need to come down, 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 down into Chinatown. Okay, so this should come down. If you want to sell on any resistance upwards, you can which includes LCL1, 25,886, note these down, 47, 26,106, those are on the daily. On the weekly, any sell would be great at 46, 26,542. Okay, so trade on the lines. And that 40 level, like I said, is the weekly support. If you want to sell, sell it up there somewhere. If you're going to buy, buy it down here somewhere, okay? Um, but this might break. If it does, you see we've got room to come down. 